Hello everybody and this is Mark with Shadow of Designs and I'm going to be giving you guys another tutorial today in Lightwave 3D. This one is just in layout and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to set it up to render a ping image sequence. Um, and what that is is it just it renders each frame as an individual image and then you can take it into your favorite video editing program and uh, once it's in there you can set it up import it as a image sequence and it'll become an, a video um, this is important one for the Pierce College classes because they uh, Brian is now requiring that you render them in a ping sequence which I was unaware of until recently um, and also if you're rendering and something happens on your computer if you render a ping sequence you still have the progress that has been made but let's jump into this I'm gonna just add a um, item in here and we're gonna go let's see we will load an object and I should have one on my desktop yep alright so we got this object and where is my camera my camera's there so go into camera view we'll get up in here okay now first things first we have our camera selected we go to properties and this is after you have everything set up um, and actually first because all your animations for the most part are going to be 300 frames for Pierce College classes if you're doing stuff independently it'll vary piece by piece but this is 10 seconds at 30 frames a second so now we go to properties and we're on camera change your uh, aspect ratio to whatever it needs to be um, for widescreen it's for standard definition widescreen it's 720 by 480 1.2 pixel x aspect ratio and then we have samples Brian requires a minimum of three I personally normally go ten but for the sake of this it's three globals we don't touch this time render we don't touch we're gonna jump over here to render globals now we set this to 300 if you just start rendering it'll ask you if you wanna set the end this last frame to 300 but it's easier just when you set up everything else to do it this way so just change this to 300 alright that is good to go and if you're working on the lab computers what you can do to try and speed up your render time a little bit is come in here to segment memory limit and it's set at 1 gig it means it's allowing Lightwave to have 1 gig of the RAM when it's rendering I normally bump that to I bump it to 4048 which is 4 gigs because I believe the RAM in the lab is 8 gigs it's either 6 or 8 but uh, if you just want to be safe do 2024 which is 2 gigs and it'll up your render time enough and then you hit OK you can set it as default it'll reset when the computer restarts so now you have you're starting rendering on the first frame you're finishing rendering on the last frame of 300 and then you before you close out of this you click on output and change this now you can do uh, TIFF 24 but to be safe do ping 24 that way if you have any transparency it preserves the transparency what that means is if you have no background like I don't have anything and I don't have an environment here I can use this to affect like a green screen so I could actually place this onto a different background if I do and that would be ping 32 normally you'll just render a ping 24 click save RGB and this is when you want to have a folder and I will create a new folder and call it rendered ping open that up 
and hit save. Obviously you'll name it wh whatever you need to name it. And you see here it says RGB files unnamed underscore RGB which is what the name was underscore 001. Now that is the first frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to render and hit render scene and hit yes. And I'm going to render about 10, 10 frames of it. Well, 9. And you notice I ended the, the render. Now, when you render that, come over here on the desktop and it should be in here somewhere. Sorry, my desktop is a clutter. Right here. So we have the pings and you have 001, 002, 003, 004 and so on. Now when you take those into Premiere what you'll do is you'll import, you'll click on the first one and there will be a little button down at the bottom that says image sequence. You click that and then you hit import and what it'll do is it'll import all of them as one video clip and that is important to do otherwise they're each going to be five seconds long and you don't want that. But that is how you render a ping sequence. And I will go over that one more time just to make sure you guys caught it. So camera, properties, click on general. Make sure you set the first and last keyframe. That's very important, otherwise you will not get your full uh, render. Click on output, change this to either TIFF24 or ping24. If you want transparency in the background, ping 32, but for now, ping 24. And then you'll click save RGB file, and you'll name it, and you'll hit save. Now if you want to rename it, you can just click on RGB files, and it'll bring this window up again, and then I could go blah, save, and now it's blah underscore zero zero one. And then you can close this and then render scene or F10 and this time I'm just gonna hit F10 and it's rendering one two three four five and abort you don't want to abort just be clarifying you wanna leave it leave it open and we're gonna go desktop because it should be easier to find right there and you got blah zero zero one through zero ten and that is how you render in a ping sequence or an image sequence, which is what you need to do for Brian's 3D classes now at Pierce College. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe and have a great day.